Good morning. <coughs> Monday, <coughs> 6th of October. Cleared up after the rain, Luton. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. <coughs> Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, a person who has had a bath needs only to wash his feet. <coughs> his whole body is clean, and you are clean, though not every one of you, for he knew who was going to betray him, and that was why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teach <coughs> and Lord. Rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set, <coughs> sorry, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. It's a lesson in humility, true humility. Anyone who thinks he's better than you is worse than you, that's what he's saying. That's what Christ is saying. The idea that you're all the big keys and, you know, you've got to have servants and... <coughs> it's rubbish. <coughs> and the idea that anyone thinks they're better than anyone else is rubbish. Before God we're all equal. Of course Christ was Christ. <coughs> but in doing that, in that act, of washing his disciples' feet. Christ was showing true humility. The first shall be last and the last first. <coughs> when Stephen was stoned, the first Christian martyr, uh, they chucked his cloak clothes at the feet of a chap called Saul, who of course became Paul and converted on the road to Damascus. So they were the two cornerstones of the foundation of the church here in earth. Peter and Paul. This is why you can't have the death penalty. Each day is different. Each day is a new day. Even the most wicked person in the eyes of the world can come to know you, my Lord, at the last trumpet. 